One of the flagship features offered in Tesla vehicles is Autopilot, a system that allows its cars to stay within lane markings and maintain a set speed and distance from cars in front, with minimal input from the driver. A recent crash involving a Tesla resulted in two passengers being killed, with investigators believing no one was in the driver's seat at the time of the crash. The crash raised the possibility that Autopilot was potentially engaged but being misused at the time of the incident. In response, Tesla CEO Elon Musk tweeted in part, data logs recovered so far show Autopilot was not enabled. Moreover, standard Autopilot would require lane lines to turn on, which the street did not have. While we don't know what actually happened in the Texas crash, we did want to see if it was even technically possible to operate a Tesla on autopilot with no one in the driver's seat. Since we own a Tesla Model Y as part of the Consumer Reports test fleet, we decided to try it out on our track. Here's some video we shot during our evaluation. So the first thing I did was I took this car to about 15 miles per hour, engaged autopilot, and then changed the set speed back down to zero, which stopped the vehicle, but autopilot still remained engaged. If your hands are off the wheel, it could also stop autopilot, but I put a small weight on the left side of the steering wheel that wasn't enough to turn the wheel, but just enough to put some resistance there. At this point, I was able to get myself completely out of the driver's seat with the seatbelt still plugged in and autopilot still stayed engaged. In the passenger seat, I was able to increase the set speed by turning the wheel on the steering wheel. And at this point, it was completely driving on autopilot with no one in the driver's seat. I kept my foot near the brake pedal just in case, but there were people standing by and we were in a closed facility. The car continued to follow the lines on the test track. There were no warnings that no one was sitting in the seat, no one was holding the steering wheel, and no one was looking at the road. No one sitting in the driver's seat, and it continued to drive with no warnings to the driver to stay engaged. To be clear, Consumer Reports does not recommend any Tesla owner operate their car in this way. It's reckless, illegal, and potentially life-threatening. These results show it's way too easy to circumvent the autopilot safeguards. The system not only failed to make sure the driver was paying attention, it couldn't even tell if there was a driver there at all. You might think that nothing could be done to prevent something like this, but there is. Systems from multiple automakers, such as GM and Ford, are beginning to use eye tracking technology to ensure that the driver is present and actually looking at the road when using their systems. We're calling on Tesla to implement an effective driver monitoring system that will not only help drivers stay engaged, but also prevent abuses of the technology such as this. For more on this story, check out consumerreports.org.